Pederis Vasx Strings is a collection of string ensembles and solo instruments created with and inspired by Latvian composer Pederis Vasx. We set out to capture the unique blend of harmony and dissonance inherent in Vasx's work, specifically the first movement of his breakthrough piece, Voices. This was a new approach for us, creating a sample library based on a specific piece of music. Pederis was closely involved from the first moment on. It was a wonderful experience working directly with such an influential composer. And the results have exceeded even our expectations, but we hope you'll hear that for yourself in this video. Pederis Vasque's Strings features individual string collections in a chamber size setting with their respective first chairs as solo instruments. So you get ensembles of six first violins, five second violins, four violas, four cellos, and three basses as well as the first chair violin one and two, viola, cello, and bass. The instruments were recorded in St. John's Church in Riga and performed by the Sinfonietta Riga, conducted by Norman Snee. These players and this location are Pederis Vasque's first call for concerts and recordings of his works, and Norman's has long been a personal friend. The church provided a rich and lush sound with a wonderful earthy reverb, and because of its architecture and the specific construction materials used, it added a certain color and warmth into the sound that we haven't heard before in any virtual orchestra. Pederis Vasque's Strings covers a wide variety of string sounds and articulations. We have a comprehensive set of bread and butter articulations, so if you like the sound, there's nothing stopping you from using these strings as your regular string library. But typical for Vasques, there are also some very special playing styles that you might not have heard before. We're calling them gestures here. But let's start out with the regular stuff, which in fact might turn out to be not so regular after all. We have sustains with either a soft or an immediate attack articulation together with legato transitions. Most of the standard articulations in this collection use three dynamic layers. What's special here is that we ask the players to perform the lowest dynamic layer con sordino with mutes on their strings. The middle layer was then played by half of the section with mutes and half without, while the loudest dynamic layer was played completely without mutes. This performance technique adds to the beautiful coloration of the sound. Here are the first violins with some long notes playing legato.
We also have a set of whispered sustains and legatos. Here, the players use mutes and at the same time play Divisi Saltesto and Collegno Trato. We have a comprehensive set of short articulations. These are also performed with quite a lot of expression to match the overall style of Pederis Vasque's strings. Note that you can create extremely vivid and realistic short note phrases by combining the spiccato, staccato, and marcato articulations as demonstrated in this short passage. We also have long and short tremolo performances. For the trills, we recorded minor and major second trills, as well as minor thirds. You also get a measured version, which can be synced to your host tempo. Here's how they sound. The final two articulations in the standard set concern harmonics. Here we have long sustains as well as tremolo. These are also performed with the mutes on the strings.
Let's move on to the gestures, the special articulations. Here we have some very unique colors derived straight from the works of Petrus Vasques. The finger tremolo utilizes minor and major third intervals as well as fourths. Pederis Vasques uses the glissando technique not necessarily as a pure sound effect to create tension, but often quite in the opposite, to resolve a phrase harmonically. So we recorded fifth, octave, and two octave interval performances here, both going up and going down. We also have those glissando performances recorded with trills. Here, the players slide up or down on the strings while trilling at the same time. For the cases where you need your glissando to create tension or for dramatic effect, we recorded these playing from the open string to as high as possible on every string of the instruments. Next up, we have some aleatoric performances that we've called waving longs. Here, the players start out in a low dynamic, playing a trill-like performance. This rises steadily and gets more intense as you push the mod wheel. We have short upbeats, both up and down, with intervals from a minor second to a fifth. These are perfect for little flourishes, colorful accents, or transitions, as demonstrated here. For even more movement, we have two types of performed runs. First, an up and half downward scale run in major, minor, melodic minor, and Dorian modes.
We also recorded some quite wild aleatoric runs, which you can control with your mod wheel. This is how they sound. As a final little treat, we recorded a climax phrase performed in major and minor chords mapped across two octaves of the key range. These are intended to punctuate your pieces with that added touch of realism. Before we move on to the other sections, let's listen to a few examples performed by the whole string orchestra while taking a look at the sign mixer. We have a multi-mic position set up here. The main reference is a deca tree with omni-pattern mics. We also have the same configuration, but with cardioid pattern microphones. Above the tree, we have an AB mic pair recording even more of the ambiance of this beautiful church. And for your rear channels, or for adding more ambiance, you get the surround mics. In the close positions, we have a set of ribbon mics capturing the ensembles, as well as some spot microphones set up very close to the instruments. As you can hear, you not only get this lush ambient sound right out of the box, but you also get a very intimate and pristine perspective from the spot mics, and of course, everything in between. This flexibility lets you choose and blend whatever mix fits your vision. And when it comes to the articulation set and the performances in general, Pederus Vasque's Strings is also a highly consistent collection. So now, as we move on to the other sections, I'll keep quiet for a while and just play the instruments for you. And to mix it up a bit, let's continue with the cellos. We have four players here.
now to the unsung heroes of the string orchestra, let's listen to our ensemble of four beautiful violas.
five second violins are no less important and beautiful than the first.
last but not least, our ensemble of three double basses, providing a nice, crisp low end to the whole string orchestra. So, that covers the ensembles of Peteris Vasque's strings. This is a big collection, and we've poured a lot of work into it, so we've split the walkthrough up into two videos. Be sure to watch the second walkthrough video, where we examine the first chair solo instruments.